Look at my hands. You you have to get messy, right? When you're eating over here. Not Ronaldo, but no, messy. Not messy. <laughs> Welcome to this amazing seafood tour of Kochi in Kerala, India and together we will try out the epic traditional fish dish called curry meen polichadu. What have I got myself into? I'm loving my life right now. We'll go into the kitchen to see how it's cooked in a banana leaf and also try out a lot of other delicacies like prawns, fish eggs, crab, scampi, but first, I'm kicking off the seafood tour at Fort Kochi where I've come to a small seafood market which has fresh catch from the sea. There are some of these crabs. Data, how much? How much are these crabs? Seven hundred per kilo. Seven hundred per kilo. Okay, I'll take one of those. And wow, what is all this? Is it? Is that a red snapper? It's a snapper. It's a grouper. Uh huh. Mahi mahi. Squids. What is this fish? Pearl sport. Oh, pearl sport. Nice. Tiger prawns. Tiger prawn. The normal prawn. Okay. There's a blue scampi. Wow, what is this? This blue looks scampi. super. Okay, I think I'm gonna take two, two. of these. How much are these for? Um, thousand, two hundred, thousand rupees. Ah, okay, two cool. So I bought them and walked to the nearby street food restaurant Cafe di Kochi, where they were cleaned, marinated, fried on the tawa, and ready to eat. The scampi prawns look. Absolutely delicious, and you know what? There is so much food. I've got Sajir. Yes, come join me, Sajir. So tell me, he has speciality also seafood. You know, seafood is speciality. Yeah. Tell me, how do I eat this? You just insert the meat. Okay. Just press and you take the meat. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> mm, the meat. Is so sweet, and then the masala brings in a bunch of spice. It's so bloody good. Oh, nice! So cool. Mm. Wow, the meat on that prawn is freak delicious. The texture is slightly on the chewy side, but overall, with all those masalas that he added, the chili, the pepper, you feel that instant hit. I would definitely. Like squeeze a little bit of slime yeah, on it yeah. to sort of balance the spice. <laughs> mm, so yum! Just look at my hands. You you have to get messy, right, when you're eating over here. <laughs> not Ronaldo, but no, messy. Not messy. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the mud crab, it's first boiled, marinated in a lot of masalas and then tossed for a while with some curry leaves, onion and tomatoes. And there we have it. Let's remove the shell. <laughs> Even I have okay. a cap now, right? <laughs> Cheers. Oh man, I thought the scampi was really good. This is even better. The masala is superb. The curry leaves, the little bit of the red chili, the sweetness coming from that crab meat, delicious. Like it's amazing. Guys, but you have to be super careful, huh? The the shells like all over, so that's something you'll have but to look out know, for. But even people like the shells also. Yeah, they eat yeah, the shell also. Shells, uh, yeah. Should I also? Actually, that's a meat. Uh, that's a shell. It's a very crispy. Oh my god. It's so good. If you turn the clap around, there are some sort of weird-looking things, and when it has weird-looking things, then that's a female, right? Yeah. Like most women are more tasty. <laughs> oh, females are very, very tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty boy. <laughs> The scampi, I bought them at 300 rupees each, and to make they were 150 each, so it's 250 rupees per scampi. And the entire crab was for 300 rupees, and it was 250 to make, so in total that's 500 rupees. But one secret, you know? Yeah. You want to go to the any shops or three star, five star hotel, some same loose yeah. scampi to 2000. What, absolutely. It's what he's saying price. is absolutely right. The same you know, scampi. At any other hotel will cost us 2,000 yeah, rupees. I'm gonna rate these dishes an 8 and on that note, I'll see you at the next place. Before the next place, there is a Jew town in Fort Kochi which is home to the Pardesi Synagogue. It's one of the oldest active synagogues which was built in the 16th century. Anyway, next up, I made it to this restaurant called Vella Kandari. And an amazing thing about this place is that it's completely run by women. And to my own surprise, I've got some oyster and some 
fish eggs. I think this is the Indian form of caviar that I'm eating, the desi caviar. Are you trying to hurt my feelings? These two dishes are normally paired with rice. So I've got myself some rice as well. I'm gonna kick off with the oyster. Super psyched and excited. Here we go. The spices, the masalas hit perfectly. It is so bloody nice. But it's definitely a tad bit fishy. Somewhat feels like chicken liver but then has a very fibrous sort of end to it. If you are someone who doesn't like something which is too fishy, then I don't think you'll enjoy this. Having said that, let me quickly give it a bite along with the rice. No, it's still bloody fishy. I don't think you can escape that over here. Now coming to the sasta caviar or the cheap caviar, it's basically fish eggs which have been tossed, fried with a bunch of coconut and everything else. But I'm a little nervous to try the fish eggs because they're normally much more fishy. I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to eat it with the rice, not just by itself. It's so grainy. It's like you've picked up some sand and you're eating it. Except for it's not as hard as sand, of course. But I'm really grateful. I think I made a good decision to mix it with the rice because if I had taken a bite without the rice, well, that would have been something else in my mouth because of course, it's super fishy. If you're a fish lover, then these are dishes which you'll definitely enjoy. The oysters at 200 rupees is definitely worth it. And the fish eggs at 90 rupees are again, super value for money. I think I'm gonna rate both of them a seven on 10. On to the next place. A few moments later. I haven't left, I'm still here. And this oyster has really grown on me. I don't think it's fair to rate the oyster a 7 as well. I think it's gonna get bumped up to an 8. Because I just can't stop. I just feel like I need to keep eating more and more and more. The Dutch ruled in Kochi and lived in this palace in Matancheri in the 17 and 1800s. And <clears throat> somewhere moved here later on. What the hell? And now I'm at Oceano's. They say they fought Kochi's favorite seafood restaurant. Do you think Oceano's is Fort Kochi's favorite seafood restaurant? What? Who? To allow them to prove their point, I ordered some spicy garlic prawns with veggies and rice. And the chef at Oceano's first slits six tiger prawns and then marinates them in minced garlic, crushed black pepper, lots of oil, salt and thyme and leaves them alone for a while. Moving on to the sides, a hunk of butter goes into the pan followed by salt and pepper and at last the vegetables and rice. They are given a quick toss and set aside. Now, while the prawns are fried on the tawa, the sauce is made by adding some oil, another hunk of butter, minced garlic, thyme and basil. After a quick stir, he adds some crushed chilli, black pepper and salt and then the secret ingredient, fish stock. Once the sauce comes to a boil, the fried prawns are added, followed by a little bit of cream and another hunk of butter. Now just look at that beauty. Definitely the best looking plate of food that I've had on the tour till now. And I'm going directly in for these tiger prawns. Wow, that prawn is delicious. And that sauce is buttery, garlicky, peppery, spicy. It's like a burst of flavors that you feel in your mouth. And the rice is nice, buttery and starchy, but when paired along with this spicy garlic sauce, Oh, it is so good. There's like pieces of that garlic inside the prawn head. So good. Every bite is so good. It is so yum. Overall, a fantastic dish. Toshianos, you've definitely done it for me. This, after a hell of a lot of time on this meat eats, gets a nine. Wow. From banners of their favorite stars everywhere to people watching and playing, man, they really love football here in Kerala. And up next on the seafood tour, I'm at Chinawala at Edapalli in Cochin. It's a slightly upmarket restaurant as you can see. And I've got myself some of the curry meal polichade. Which is a traditional fish dish of Kerala and at Chinawala you can select your own fish at their fresh catch counter. I choose the curry mean, also called pearl spot, as you can see. At rupees 200 for 100 grams, it costed around 600 in total. Anyway, it's cleaned in scale because of which. Now it's not pearl spot anymore, right? Yeah. 
That was disrespectful. Time to see how it's made. First, Chef Rahul marinates it in some colorful spices, and while it rested, I stole some drinks in their kitchen, which were so freaking refreshing. Anyway, while the fish is frying on the tawa, the masala is prepared with coconut oil, garlic, ginger, ginger. coconut seeds, curry leaves, green chili, and of shallots, chili powder, crushed pepper, sorted bread, and we can mix with our. Already prepared masala. Little bit of kokum pulp, coconut milk. Yeah. Our masala is ready. Then the fried fish is smeared in all that masala and placed on the banana leaf. The chef then adds a drizzle of coconut oil, a little bit of coconut milk. Ooh, money shot. You can make anything sound perverted. Some sliced onion, tomatoes, and finally curry leaves before wrapping it and frying it on the tawa again. Once it's done on both sides, it's ready to serve. Wow! Just look at that. What have I got myself into? Oh, I'm loving my life right now. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yes, oh man. Wow. I honestly don't know where to start. The fish is so fresh. It's so soft. It's so juicy. And that masala, the curry leaves, the red chili, the coconut, all of them and all the other masalas also which went in, they combined so bloody well. There's a little bit of that sourness also which I feel coming from the kokum. All in all, man, superb. You know, you need patience to eat this fish because considering how bony it is, it's not an easy thing to do. Now that was a fantastic dish. I'm gonna rate this an eight and a half, and I'll see you in the next tour of Cochin.